Alright, now we will see how to use PLC simulation in Connected Component Workbench. So, start your software. And now, very important, the first step is the most important for PLC simulation. You have to make sure your controller is the correct one for simulation. This is not the correct one. This is Micro 850, but this is not the correct one. So what I will do is I will just delete it. And now I have nothing here. So let's start from the scratch. I have to add a device. So here in your controller 850, check this sim this is a simulation controller so now you always have to select this one and the version i'm using is 12 that's the only version available select and add another error i can ignore it i have no idea why it's coming if you know it please tell me so this is now the controller is added with 850 sim most important and now i can go in the program and say add a new letter diagram and in the program itself I have this, I will make the same program for explanation. So one and no contact. And I will say, I want to use my digital input. So you can see here, now you have digital output, but quantity is 20 because it's a big controller. <laughs> so I'll take digital input zero, zero, click okay. This is here. Now direct coil. And this one is my digital output. Also zero, zero, click okay. So my input and outputs are connected. Now what I have to do, I have to just download it. But before I download it, I have to check, go back to my micro 850. And here you see there is no connection path. To make a connection path, first I have to start the simulator. So I go here, click start simulator. And simulator will automatically check which Ethernet cards you have connected. So make sure you select the right ones. I'm using the Ethernet card, which is my real Ethernet card. If you want to verify that, I can show you. If you open your command prompt and type ipconfig, you will see your IP address, this one. So that's the IP address of my Ethernet card, and that's the same IP address of my simulator. Okay, now you have to activate it. You have to power on, very important. So once you power it on, it will show you a message that you can only operate run mode for 10 minutes. It's a kind of limitation, but you can also switch back to run mode again after 10 minutes. After every 10 minutes, you can still keep using it because you know, everything is not free in this world. <laughs> if you really want to buy the software, then you will not find this simulation. Click OK, and then uh, now the power is on, simulator is running. Now I will go to connection path and I will check my connection path. So this is the IP address 71, double click, and your path is selected here and also here. Click close, and now I can download my PLC. So right click, download the software in the PLC, and it will show you some pop-up very soon. So it's building, build is succeeded, and now it will download. And this time it's downloading in my simulation, not in the real PLC, okay? So it's downloading. You can see the status on the bottom, downloading project files. And once it's downloaded, we will be able to check our program. So it succeeded. I will open my, okay, now it's asking you, do you want to run the program? Yes, I want to run it. And again, warning for 10 minutes, that's fine. And here I can, you can see here now it's in the run mode with the slider switch and I can bring my controller here. So your letter diagram is here with the blue and if I turn on my input, you will see this is red and your output is true and your output is true here as well. Very simple. Now for second input, I have no logic, nothing happens. So in the next exercises, when we are doing some exercises, you can use a simulator and you can actuate your input and check the result. All right. I hope this will be interesting and very useful because you have a simulator. You just need a computer and you can program, practice everything anywhere. All right. So this was about today's lesson on how to use a simulator with CCW Micro 800. In the next lesson, we will see some programming exercises and I'm going to use my real controller because I have it and it's much more interactive, but you can simultaneously practice with the simulator and check the results. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.